Today, I will be talking about a particular example where I will be able to distinguish streamline, streak line, and path line from one another. Okay? So, as we discussed in the previous module, we said that the streamline, streak line, and path lines are exactly the same for steady flow. Okay? So, obviously, I will have to give you an unsteady flow. And here's what it looks like this is just a, um, a large drop of food coloring dye is released into the river flow at t is equal to zero seconds right over here okay and the path line is what i'm showing you in reds it, at time is equal to one second it's right over there at time is equal to here it's right over there and it makes a sharp transition when time is over two seconds okay between two and three you can see it goes down and the velocity get, gets lower as well you can see it's traveling 1.4 meters between zero and one but then it's traveling one meter from two and three so it's lowering the velocity okay draw the streak lines and the stream lines for two particular times i gave t is equal to one i gave t is equal to three so i gave a kind of hint to myself over here i will distinguish them by different colors okay so streamlines i will draw with purple i will draw streak lines with green and path lines as the figure indicates already those are red Okay, so now I have a question to you before I start and I will be focusing on this point. So when time is equal to 1, so think about it, before t is equal to 2, would you say this is steady or not? That is my question to you. Okay, And actually the, 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 the flow doesn't know what will happen right after t is equal to 2 seconds. It just, we do know that between 0 and 2 seconds, it's just going up, let's say, 45 degree angle to the horizontal direction, and it is traveling like this, right? So it doesn't know what will happen. So this section so far, between 0 and 2 seconds, can be considered as steady. I want to highlight that, okay? And that will be the key to draw for this particular time stamp. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. So let's say the first is t is equal to one second well then here's how it's gonna look so if I have let's again call this the origin if I have path lines so here's what happens at t is equal to one second right so it traveled from here to here 1.4 meters okay so this is my streak line at this t is equal to 1 over here so let's look at the streamline. Well, as the flow is steady, then the streamlines are going to be like this as well. Okay, so they, there will be no distinction. They'll be right on top of each other because it's steady. I do not distinguish streamline, streak line, and path line for steady, right? And if I look at the streak line, then it will be like this. So you can see this part of the question is fairly straightforward because it's steady. And note that if I want to put like velocity vectors, it's like this, right? It's because it's tangent. So this is my velocity and this is how I obtain my streamline so so far so good okay now the tricky part is when it goes to three seconds so now the flow is not steady anymore for t is equal to three seconds and here's how it's gonna look um, I will start with the path lines because that's given to me again let's call this t is equal to zero so at one second it will be here and then at here and then like this right so this is the path line that's given to me I didn't really solve anything just yet okay so let's look at the streamline at this point. Streamlines, the definition, the lines where the velocities are tangent to it, right? So what is the velocity right over here? Well, the velocity is actually going down, right? Look at, let me indicate here. So you can see the velocity is going down, right? If I have a point, let's say at 3.1 second, 3.2, 3.4, etc. So it's going down over here. So my velocity is pointing down. So if I plot my streamline, for that particular point, it will be like this. Okay, let's put arrows because that's the, and it will be not changing. I don't know what will happen at three t is equal to three point one. I don't know what will happen at three is equal to five, but I, so far this is what I do know. Okay, so that's why it is uh, pointing it down. So now you can see there's a clear distinction between the path line and the streamlines. Okay, streak lines. These are in interesting because you remember this. This is succession this is an important word there succession of marked and some people call it tagged particles that originated 
from a particular point in the flow. So if I'm, if I'm interested in drawing it, then here's what's going to look. Again, I'm drawing the succession of the particles. So it's going to look like this. Okay? So that will be the succession of the particles that originated from the same point. You may notice that this is like the uh, inverse, right? Look at the red one, look at the green one. When t is equal to 0, I'm showing this. So, you know, after t is equal to 2, it does this, but it, it happens over t is equal to 0. It starts doing that. It's kind of like the reverse. So that's not a coincidence. Just want to let you know. Strict line and uh, path line difference. But also, you can see now that for this whole thing, these are completely different ratings, right? They are not really the same at all. Okay, so I want to highlight that. 